Hello. In this session, we will write integration tests for our stories API. Unit testing is a good at checking the correctness of the code in isolation, but it does not give us confidence that the whole application is working as expected. For that, we have to write integration tests. One important thing we should understand is that integration tests are not replacements for unit tests. To explain the difference between different type of tests, we can use the test pyramid. Here you can see that a good system should have many many unit tests, few integration tests and very less UI tests. While writing unit tests, we cover all the edge cases and all flow controls. Whereas while writing integration tests, our focus is to make sure that the API is working well with all its dependencies. So one happy part test per endpoint should be enough. The next very common question is that should we write mocks for integration tests or not? To understand it, we can categorize dependencies into two categories. Dependencies that are in our control and the dependencies that are not in our control. While writing integration tests, we do not write mocks for dependencies that are in our control like databases and file systems. But we may need to write mocks for dependencies that are not in our control like SMTP email server, payment gateways. With this basic understanding, let us write integration tests for our stories API. Before starting with, we need to do few fixes to our code. The very first is an entity class where we generate GUID every time. It also overrides the ID when we read data from database and it returns us wrong ID. So let us remove this and instead insert protected set accessor so that we can set it from derived classes. Also to follow DDD recommendation we removed public set accessors from our entities but because of that JSON serializer cannot see those properties so we need to explicitly specify them using JSON property attribute. So our class will look like something this. Now we have JSON property attribute on both the properties. Also both the set accessors are protected here so that we can set values to these properties from derived classes. Now as we are explicitly specifying JSON properties, we don't need JSON object attribute on top of this class. So let us remove it. Next let us make few changes to story entity. We need to add JSON property attribute to text and images properties. So our properties will look like this. And in create method we will be assigning new grid to id. And we also need to set created at. The next small fix is needed in create story command. Here we will just specify images as optional by declaring it nullable. With this we have done with the fixes that were required. The next change is not a fix but a prerequisite for writing an integration test. As we upgraded our project to .NET 6, we do not have program class visible in it. But we will need that in our integration test project to spin up the test server. To make it available, we will add a public partial program class here. This is empty class, but as it is partial, it will get merged to the program class which will be auto-generated by precompiler which has all these settings and pipelines. And this class will be used in our integration project. But this is not enough. We need to do one more setting. Go to project file and add setting internals visible to Orion integration tests. So this will allow this particular project to access internal types of API project. And we need to create our integration project by this name only. Now let us go ahead and create integration test project. So in test folder, integration test folder, right click, add new project, xunit test project, name it Orion integration tests. Make sure that you are saving it at proper location. It should be tests, integration test, select this folder, 
next and create let us remove this default file we need to add a reference of our api project so let us add it next let us create folder api tests and inside this folder let us create class stories api tests make it public we will need http client to make api calls import namespace system.net http we will be setting it up in the constructor to create object of http client we will be using web application factory class this class resides in package microsoft asp.net core mvc testing so let us install this package here you can see that we are providing program class which is in our api project this partial program class to web application factory so that it will use all these details while creating the object of http client and then we will use create client method of this factory class to create http client object to start with we are keeping things very simple but in future we will be moving all this code to fixture classes they are special type of classes that we use when we want to reuse particular object in multiple tests for example if we have 10 tests this http client will get created 10 times and will get destroyed 10 times instead of that if you want to create it once reuse it in all the 10 tests then we need to use fixture classes that we will see in future but for now let us keep it simple and let us have only single test method that is manage stories which will test all the five crud operations of stories api so let us have manage stories let us import namespace so let us first test post operation to test post operation we will first need url then we will need object of create story command so this is a data that we want to post and then we want to post this data as a json so we will be using post as json async helper method which resides in system.net http.json so let us import this namespace it will convert this object to the json and it will make http call to this url and then it will return us the response in assert section we will check that the response has success status code in this response we will also receive the inserted story so that we will fetch here from the content and we know that it is of story dto type so we will convert that json object to story dto and here we are just making sure that inserted storage text is equal to the input storage text for that purpose i am using one method should be we can use fluent assertion library that we used earlier in unit test project there is one another good library shouldly so i am using it here to use shouldly we need to install that package so let us go to nuget package manager search for shouldly and install it also it is showing that two updates are available so let us update to latest versions it is always good practice to keep your project up to date come back to your test method and import the shouldly namespace and this is how you can test your post method next we want to test read all method so we will simply make call to this url but this time it is get call we know that it will return us list or array of stories and it will be in json format we want to serialize that in list of stories so get from json async is good helper method which will serialize the data in list of story dto object and we are just making sure that this recently inserted story is equivalent to the inserted story next we want to test read by id 
here we are creating url with id so we just want to fetch the story that we just inserted here we will make get request it should fetch data obviously that data will be in json and get from json async will serialize it in story dtu and then we will get inserted story here so we can again check that that inserted story is equivalent to this fetch story next we want to test put or update endpoint we will be using update story command here we want to update the inserted story that we just fetched here so we are using that id we are changing text from integration test to integration test update and then we are using put as json async method of http client here we are giving url with id and then story to update this will get converted into json and put request will be sent to this id and we will get response back we will ensure that it has success status score then we will fetch updated story out of that response which resides in update response dot content we are deserializing it to a story dto and then we will check that story to update id and story to update text is equal to the id and text of the object that we received in the response and in the end we will test delete endpoint we will simply make delete call to url with id it has the id of recently inserted story and we will get response back we will ensure that if it has success status score then we can read content and we can check that if it is equivalent to the updated story so here we have single test method manage stories to test all CRUD operations where we are creating then updating and deleting the resource that we created for the test this delete operation is very important here it will test delete behavior as well it will make sure that we are removing our test data from the database and so that this test is not causing any side effect to our db right now we are doing this in single test method to keep things very simple but if required we may improve it in future now go to your test explorer here we can see this newly added test let us run this test and you can see that this test is passing let us stop with this if you find this content useful please like share and subscribe thank you